Saskatoon City Hospital Foundation, uh, Steve Shannon here representing uh, some of the events that are coming up with the fundraising efforts that uh, the hospital, there's three foundations in Saskatoon. But Steve, thank you first of all for making time and joining us today and giving us some uh, uh, insight into what's happening with the foundation and upcoming events. Randy, thank you so much for the opportunity. It's, it's a real pleasure to be here. Maybe start with uh, your involvement and, and what does Steve Shannon do typically in the course of a day and uh, how does that segue into some of the events coming up? Well, it, it's funny after, it's been seven and a half years now since I transitioned, uh -huh. went from one job in radio after 35 years to this job. And on a day-to-day -day basis, it's kind of the, the big picture. You try and look at the big picture on a day-to-day -day basis. And as events come up, there's meetings and there's different relationships we have. Some are total third party where they run it and the proceeds to us. Others are joint ventures like the Enchanted Forest. And then there are hands-on where our board takes an active role, such as Black Tie Bingo. So there's lots of different events and different ways that we raise money uh, to support the community. And also that we have events that are focused on donor uh, input as well, which is really cool. Most of the events that I've attended over the years, everything seems to be focused on fun. There's an obvious element of uh, the seriousness and the overtones of why you're raising the money, but maybe start with some of the early ones coming up. Well, um, I just wanted to mention one. This is, this is more donor-focused, but it is still fun. It's our doctor series coming up on November the 15th at 7 o'clock, and anyone's invited to attend. And it's a, a very unique opportunity for you to take a look with a doc inside the world of Saskatoon City Hospital and imaging. And uh, this is a, a, a really unique bowel ultra, ultrasound that is non-invasive. So it's looking from the outside in. So if you want to attend, just call our office. We'd be more than happy to uh, put you on the list, absolutely free to attend. But it's fun because you actually get a tour, you come in, you talk to a doc, and you're seeing where your money's going to. But when you talk about fun events, uh, I think one of the most long-running events that we've had since 1999 is the Enchanted Forest. And the BHP Enchanted Forest is something that is so unique and has grown. And since the start of that time, there are students and kids that are 18 years old that have not known this city not to have the Enchanted Forest. And to me, that's cool. 70,000 people rolled through last year. We've made over $2.1 million dollars split between the Saskatoon Zoo Foundation and Saskatoon City Hospital Foundation. And Rick Steffen does an amazing job in setting it up every year, but he also creates a new image every year, which is absolutely incredible. And <clears throat> unfortunately, I can't share with you what it'll be, but I know your crew, Shaw, is very, very good to us. And I know they'll be out there for the kickoff. And so at that time, um, it'll, it'll make your heart warm, let's put it that way. It's going to be a great event. And for us to go through that and the proceeds going for our Equip for Excellence campaign, we're trying to put almost in every department in City Hospital a piece of equipment. And we have a list that's about $3 million long. And we're grateful for the support. And thanks to events like the Enchanted Forest, we can do that. So you have corporate sponsors, so BHP, obviously, uh, yes. in that case. Do you, do you lean on a lot of the business community, or is it wider uh, than Saskatoon itself, the surrounding areas? It's both, actually. And uh, some are, we're so fortunate to have a product uh, and entertainment that is so focused and so many people come to it, 70,000 people a year. We're so fortunate that so many sponsors don't want to miss an opportunity to have their name attached to such a fantastic event. We even have a sponsor who is a former businessman, Dennis Bauer, and he takes out a personal display sponsorship, just him. Because he said, when I take my grandkids through, I want them to see that grandpa is helping out in the community. Like, how cool is that? Like, that's, I don't think there's another event where a private citizen takes out a sponsorship just so their name can appear there so we can tell his grandkids, this is what we're doing to help the zoo and to help Saskatoon City Hospital Foundation. That's a very unique. That's very unique. When you look at the, uh, the wish list that you have for a number of the pieces of equipment or, or uh, uh, furnishing some of the rooms and so on, yeah. uh, how does that, that process start? 
Well, it, us it usually starts with um, uh, Tracy Boyle as our director of major and plan gifts. And she makes a connection with some of the departments in the, in the hospital, said, do you have something that's urgent that's coming up? They will get in touch with her and they'll say, yes, we do. And here's what we have. From that moment on, they have to check, the department has to check with their manager and their director and a member of senior leadership team that will confirm that that piece of equipment can actually go on the capital list with interest from the foundation. So we've, I don't think we've ever taken on something we couldn't pay for. So if the foundation interest is there, that's almost a guarantee that that piece of equipment will be purchased. So for us to have that relationship with the staff and with senior leadership team, we feel it's very, very important that at the end of the day, we can actually fulfill some of those wishes from all the different various departments. So that's, that's how it goes. Um, eventually, one day, there might be another big campaign coming up where, let's say, the operating rooms are looked at. And it's time to integrate the operating rooms. Well, that would almost be a million dollars each. There's 12 operating rooms at Saskatoon City Hospital, and you do a few at a time. But... We just don't know if that is something that's on the horizon with the new Saskatchewan Health Authority that'll be coming into place on December 4th. So it's all about relationships and what can we do to make things better? I think when we look at uh, a lot of the, the local residents and people who access the hospitals, uh, you know, thankfully our family hasn't had a lot to do with it, but when we do, it's comforting to know that we're on the cutting edge with some technologies. Uh, do you see, the, the change is coming more rapidly or is it just more of a, a, a bigger wish list than we can really afford sometimes? It's both, actually. I think it's actually both, Randy. We've, we're in a position where um, somebody will come to us and they'll say, um, you know, we, we need uh, a new point of care ultrasound, let's say for our emergency department. And we, we don't have one and there's an old one that's there. And so they bring us down and they take a look at this. And this is absolute true story. We came, came through and, and it was held together by tape. And so if somebody came in with an internal stomach problem or any kind of problem whatsoever in the, in the midsection mm -hmm. of the body, they would take the ultrasound and they'd try and get, and you'd see the image on it. And it was, it was like a snowstorm. And it was one of those images where docs can figure out what it is, but the average lay person couldn't. Then they took the same type of technology, new piece of equipment, point of care ultrasound, and they showed the difference. The detail was so incredible that we, as a lay person, you could sh tell exactly what organs were being looked at internally. But also after placing the point of care ultrasound over the heart, you could actually see the heart valve moving. And right after they purchased one, thanks to a donor who was hearing our story, happened to be in the office, said, you know what, I think my wife and I would like to purchase one of those. They did. The moment that it came in, the same day it came in, somebody came in with a chest problem. They take a look at the point of care ultrasound at their heart and said, I think we need to get you over right away to uh, Royal University Hospital. They did, and their life was saved. So that's the kind of technology that happens on a regular basis. We want the best because it's like an insurance policy, right? We don't really know. We hope we're not going to go, but if we do, we want the best there. So that's what we we venture to do all the time is to make sure that the very best is there, the very best care, and uh, we can facilitate that through the generosity of our donors and the proceeds from our fun events. Are there any other events that are coming up that we want to Oh, get the list is long, that. but um, no. I'll go through um, the, uh, of course, the Enchanted Forest. It always kicks off with a walkthrough night. People always ask for a walkthrough night. That's November 17th. On the 18th is when the car um, Cars go starting to go through. Festival of Trees is November the 24th to December the 2nd. The theme this year is my favorite things. So uh, raindrops on roses and warm woolen mittens and so much more. And the proceeds from that will be directed to our MS clinic and work with the new MS clinical research chair that is at Saskatoon City Hospital. January 27th, Swinging with the Stars. We've, we've uh, taken over that event and we're so thrilled the proceeds will be going to the Breast Health Center to an automated uh, breast ultrasound, which is incredibly more accurate and gives the uh, person that is having the ultrasound a complete look 
without the old technology of taking a look at something and having a click, click, click like a small, like a small camera. So we're, we're ra- it costs about three hundred thousand dollars for that piece of equipment. And black tie bingo, and have okay, get this for perfect. Not only is black tie bingo a fun event, right? But we better call it green tie bingo this year because it's March seventeenth. Could you imagine St. Patrick's Day and black tie bingo mixed? That's going to be a blast. So you don't want to miss that. Uzo Palooza is a third party event that the Greek Hellenic community has uh, has put on every year. And the proceeds go to our eye department at Saskatoon City Hospital and focus on a piece of equipment that can be used for children or adults. And so we usually, around this time of year, start saying to the eye center, um, have you got something in? And they start, yes, this is what we need. And so we'll find that out and we'll let people know. And of course, golfing to the Camco MS Neuroscience Research Center happens in May every year. And sometimes it's chilly and sometimes it's nice, but the cause is always good to warm your heart. So those, those are our major events that we have. Steve, uh, at least I think it's Steve. I never know who I'm talking to sometimes. Well, it could be okay. anybody. It could be the former president of the United States of America. Maybe. I wonder what he'd have to say about Trump cards. I think he'd say that it would be a wonderful organization. And thank you so much for making time for us today. And uh, I wish you the best of luck with your events coming up. Well, thank you for this opportunity. And thanks to all the donors and participants for making equipment buying so much fun and so satisfying. Thank you. Good. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thank you.